I always tell Michelle, I'll keep it recording in case you say something funny. This isn't funny. Oh, there went my neck. Everybody, I'm Michelle Carr and I'm Matt Carr. This is Riding in Cars with Cars. Mm -hmm. We are the car group from Redline Real Estate yes, we are. and we sell houses in the beautiful city of Airdrie. We do. But this show is about introducing you to the amazing people and businesses Absolutely. that are right here in Airdrie. Absolutely. Today we are on our way to pick up Ron Chapin mm -hmm. who is a long-term resident of Airdrie. Mm -hmm. He is also on City Council. Mm -hmm. And has been for for this is his third term, so going on a lot of years for him. Doing yes, that for sure. yes. So we're hoping to learn a bit more about who Ron the man is, and what brought him to Airdrie, and just more about him. Ron Chapman, welcome to the car. Hey, I'm I'm glad to be here. There's a big puddle right here. You're gonna stop. <laughs> there it goes. Where we go? <laughs> welcome to March when things are starting to melt. It's a beautiful day here in Airdrie, Alberta, Canada. Oh, it is the last week of winter. It's, yeah. yeah, it's is getting it? really nice. Oh, it I sure guess is. it is. Yeah. Next week is the first day of yeah. spring. Yeah. Awesome. So. So, Ron, how long have you lived in Airdrie? I came to Airdrie in 1978 for two weeks for a visit. Oh. What made you come to Airdrie for a visit in 78? Well, I was in between, it was summer holidays between grade 11 and grade 12. Okay. Um, my parents passed away when I was young. My father passed away when I was seven. My mother passed away when I was 16. Oh, wow. So I was very close to my older brother who was an RCMP. And he transferred to Airdrie in 1978. Okay. And I came out for a visit and I was living with my sister in Regina at the time. And we were always close. Uh, and he said, why don't you move to Airdrie and live with us here? And, so I looked and I thought, you know, it's a nice little community, 2,500 people. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful. And, you know, the high school is, people. yeah, you knew everybody in the high school by their first name. And, yeah, I was welcomed. I said, you know what? Yeah, I, I am. I'm going to stay for grade 12. So, yeah, so yeah. that's a pretty long two-week visit. It was. Yeah, it was yeah. a pretty good vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Ron, you have been a member of council for a number of years. This is your third term? Third term, yeah. I was elected in 2010. Peter and I were elected at the same time. Oh, wow. So... Being a member of council, you get to kind of see a lot of the new and exciting things that are happening with our city early on. What are some of the things that you've been able to see and be a part of over these last years? Over these last years, I guess one of the big ones was I was there for the sod turning as a member of council for the sod turning for the Twin Arenas at Genesis Place. Oh, wow. I was there for the grand opening of the Twin Arenas at Genesis Place. So that, yeah. that, that stands out to me. Um, I was there for a lot of the advocating for 24-hour um, health care. Yep. I was there for that announcement. <laughs> so you've obviously run for council a number of times. What makes you keep going back? What do you love about being a council member? Well, you know, the funny thing is, is a lot of people, when they run for council, they run on a negative platform. They're mm -hmm. unhappy with the way Airdrie okay. was going. Yeah. In 2010, when I decided to run for council, I wanted to give back to my community. I wasn't upset with anything that was happening in my community. I just wanted to give back. I thought I needed to give back to the community. And um, then when it went on to 2013, there's so much that started in that first term that I wanted to see through to the next term, one being, you know, uh, opening Genesis Place, the Twin Arenas. And then it, it just keeps going. You, you start something in one term and you want to see it through to the finish, I guess, is, yeah. is what it looks at. But just being on council to me, it, it's very re rewarding just to hear. So Cheryl, of course, is your wife? She is. And how many years have you guys been married? Well, you know, that's a funny story. Ooh, I want to hear it then. <laughs> well, Cheryl and I have been together for 20 years. Um, we have a combined family of six kids, 11, wow. 11 grandchildren now. So this past uh, fall, this last September, I thought it's getting pretty serious, so I thought maybe we should get married. Oh, so congratulations. So you're engaged. Yes, we have been for quite a few years, actually, but this past year I sort of made it official and got a little bit bigger ring and actually got down on the one knee and Good cried you. That's and awesome. cried and you know got that all you over. cried oh well of course I did yeah. I cried too yeah I, <laughs> I cry at long distance commercials oh yeah yeah I, I cried those yeah. too yeah Ron you grew you were born and raised in Regina well actually I was born in Estevan moved to Regina Estevan. when I was two years old yeah. so growing up in that part of Canada you must have been a Montreal Alouette fan correct? not at all what not at all. So, are you saying you put a watermelon was, on your head, or, or I what? was a Toronto Maple Leaf fan? Davy nice. Davy Keon was my favorite yeah, player. Number seven. 
Yep. Wait, did you know he was a Toronto fan? Because well, normally you assume people's are people are Toronto I do. fans. I'm I'm not a Toronto fan. You're wait, you're not? I'm not now. No, I'm a I'm a Calgary fan now. Calgary hockey fan. Yeah. Football is no, a different I, that's story. That's why I said I said an Alouette fan, not a not a Montreal Canadian fan. Oh, because oh, you were so. specifically talking about. Because I know, I know he wears a, a green green melon I, on his head. I do. I have so, been known to do that. Yeah, yes. You, you put <laughs> the watermelon on your head. Yeah. Hey, do you say Airdronian or what is the other ridiculous word they came Airdrian. up with? It's Airdronian. Yes. Thank you. It is not Airdrian. Airdronian yes. is the way to go. Mm-hmm. So, Ron, completely off any topic that we've had, you just you told me a story not that long ago um, that I just think is fascinating. So you you used to date um, Dr. Bob. Church's daughter. I right? did Eileen Church. I right? did date her for a while. Yes, and of course, Bert Church Theater. That's named after Dr. Bob's father. It is. Yep. And you told me a story. It was Christmas Eve, nineteen eighty. I can't remember whether it's Christmas Eve or during the Christmas season. Right. But it was nineteen seventy nine. Uh, okay. I was invited out for dinner, and you know, which was nothing un- unusual. Yeah. And Eileen mentioned to me, well, you know, just, you know, dress up a little bit. Uh, you know, we've got some guests coming. I said, okay. So I got there and I was sitting talking to uh, Dr. Bob and the doorbell rings and lo and behold, Joe and Maureen Clark walked in. <laughs> the, and, and as he was the prime minister. Joe Clark was the prime minister at the time. <laughs> it was quite interesting that uh, the prime minister come walking through the front door. And wow. no secret service, nobody with them. Nobody they just with them. Themselves no, yeah, up there they and... sort of snuck up the back way from High River, <laughs> I do believe. Yeah. That's hilarious. Is he from High River? Yes. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. I, I just, I love yeah. that story. I've told that story a few times. I hope it's okay. Yeah. I haven't given any yeah. national secrets away. <laughs> Ron, last year you started with a company called Tiger Propane. Tiger Propane. and Brand new dare to correct? No, no not at all. Um, Tiger Torch. Which was an Airdrie. Right. The whole history of Tiger Torch is the Tiger Torch was invented by Frank Young. Okay. Pre-1960. Oh. So Tiger Torch is probably one of the oldest businesses in Airdrie. Oh, wow. And his son, Grant Young, took the business over and in 1975 sold the business to Daryl Bennett. Now, Daryl Bennett was the mayor of Airdrie from 1970 to 1983. Okay. And when Daryl wanted to retire, his daughter Stacy and her husband Howard Morrison took over the business, ran the business for them. Well, when Daryl passed away in 2014, Howard and Stacy kept running the business, but it was still owned by Daryl's wife, Pat, at the time. Well, in 2017, Howard and Stacy decided they wanted to retire. So Pat sold the business to Scott Bennett, who is Daryl's youngest son. Now, he's not that young because Scott and I graduated high school together from George <laughs> McDougall in 1979. Yeah. Go Mustangs. Exactly. I'm, I'm still but, my parents. But it wasn't Mustangs, too. and we could get into that whole thing. Well, yes. But, Another piece of history. Yeah. When Scott bought the business, he moved the business to Okotoks, but he didn't want to take the propane side of it. So they, the Bennett family approached uh, Mr. Reed, Ken Reed, and he agreed to buy the propane side of it. So instead of changing the name altogether, they wanted to keep the Tiger name. So it was changed to Tiger Propane. Ah. So it, uh, and you know, we do everything out there from filling tanks for RVs, for barbecues, a lot of farm tanks, 100 pound, or up to 420 pound tanks. We yeah. re- requalify okay. all the tanks, so. Wow. So a 420 pound tank, what's that used for? Usually construction. Construction okay. heaters, you'll see them, uh, it's not very often they come up to get filled, usually they're filled on site. Yeah. yeah. We have new tanks. We have uh, some requalified use tanks, a little bit cheaper, but they're still good for 10 years, so there's nothing wrong with them. So you guys are located just off of 24th Street. Great big sign there, yep. kind of right between Bay Springs and Sagewood as you're going along. Yeah, if you go north on 24th Street from Yankee Valley, you'll see us on the left-hand side. Time on. Uh, so give me a quick little science lesson here on propane. What do I not know that I probably should as an adult about <laughs> propane? Well. Propane is actually a liquid. LPG LPG is liquid propane gas. Inside that (coughs) tank, it propane boils at minus 43. So when it's cold out, you can carry propane in a bucket. So in February, when it was so cold out at the beginning of February, I actually filled a coffee cup up with liquid propane and set it outside. 
and it stayed in a liquid you know it it took about an hour and a half for that cup to boil off really and you know it just a clear liquid you would think it was a glass of water but uh, that's liquid propane I did not know that yeah <laughs> my mouth is literally a game I'm like wow Head Ron to. people may not know this but you are an original Queen fan oh. not since the movie came out a 1978 Queen fan you bet. I, I've loved Queen since I started listening to Queen. Uh, back when I went to high school at George Mack, played basketball there. We The song that we came out onto the floor with was We Are the Champions. Oh, nice. perfect. Perfect. So you've seen the movie, can I assume? I have indeed. I've seen it a few times. <laughs> oh. I actually watched it on the 767 inaugural flight from Toronto, coming back to Calgary. Oh, cool. Oh, that's amazing. Now, have you ever thought of like starting a council meeting with We Are the Champions or with Bo Bohemian Rhapsody? Actually, the funny thing is, is we had a council meeting that I forget what group it was came on and they did a lip sync and they changed the words to Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, cool. It was one of the arts groups that uh, was looking for something from council. Nice. The funny thing is, back in high school, I actually had the the hair <laughs> to to really get into this. <laughs> gotcha. Mama. I see a little silhouette of a man Scaramouche, Scaramouche Can you do the Fandango? Thunderbolt and lightning Very, very frightening me Galileo, Galileo, Galileo Galileo, Mamma mia, mamma mia Let me go Yells a boot There's a devil going to say For me, for me, for me my neck. <laughs> on the day you were elected as city councilman, yep. I was actually talking to Peter Brown. It was the, the day the day after the day after that. And you know, Peter said, you know, you came up to him right after you were both elected and you said, Peter, you've got two ears and one mouth. Use them accordingly. That is exactly my saying. And who said that to me the first time? And back in 2010 when I decided I was gonna run I went and saw Mr. Hugh Hamilton, because mm -hmm. I've always looked up to Hugh, but the words he said to me was, Ron, always remember you have two ears and one mouth. Listen twice as much as you talk. Nice. That's great advice. Well, thanks so much for jumping in the car with us, Absolutely. Ron. It's been uh, fun to have a moment with Queen and learn more about you and your your journey in life and uh, and the, that you're engaged well yes. yeah hey that's sort right. of exciting there you the know young couple yeah. starting out with a big, you know, you did, know big break family just, and just time we figured you know things are getting a little serious so we should probably <laughs> yeah. get this looked after yeah, after 20 years together <laughs> yeah. and 11 yeah. grandkids 11 yeah. grandkids yeah, yeah. yeah. well it's yeah. awesome i'm glad i'm yeah. so uh, happy for both of you yeah. um thank you for being a huge supporter of carnivore oh um you're always on there throwing me sending him he sends me his meat picks right <laughs> I, so, I do indeed uh, it's always appreciated. I, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not shy about cooking. I love cooking. Oh, you uh, do. Yep. And Cheryl's favorite food is hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> if it's, st it's still a meat, so if, it's okay. If I'm it's barbecuing, if I'm barbecuing a steak, she would rather have a hot dog. Yeah. And we're not talking all beef wieners. We're <laughs> talking the mixture. Yep. Ron, we're also wishing you a very successful spring and summer in the propane business for Tiger Propane. Well, yeah, it's picking up every week, so. Awesome. Yeah. And That's again, great. just over off 24th, make a left as if you're coming north on 24th and yep. come see you, right? You what bet. are your hours? We're uh, 9 to 5 through the week. Okay. Uh, right now, if you come up on a Saturday, there's a good chance there's going to be somebody at the farm. They're going to see you. They're going to come over. Okay. But uh, come later on in the spring, we'll be opening up Saturday. Uh, and I'm not sure if we'll be open Sunday or not, but it'll be there. Is there yep. a phone number for people to call if they want to? You bet. Give me a call anytime, 403-948-5856. Nice. Either I'll answer the phone or my lovely daughter Courtney will answer the phone or her better half, uh, Miles Reed, will answer the phone. The three of us are <laughs> usually there. Perfect. Awesome. The, the original Arthur. When Dudley Moore just started laughing, she goes, "What?" She goes, "Sometimes I just think funny things." That to me is just hysterical. Is this a show in the seventies? Mm, might have been early eighties, probably. Arthur, the movie. 
You're not talking about Arthur the cartoon. No, Arthur the... <laughs> this is what you get when you marry a woman 11 years younger than you. 